When a user needs to display really big images, projection is often the most efficient solution. Projection screens are available in larger sizes than direct view displays, and projection systems are less expensive than multi-panel direct view video walls. In this lesson, you'll learn to identify the projectors and screens used in Pro AV applications. You'll also learn to recognize keystone error. Projectors are available in a wide variety of sizes and light outputs. Basically, the more light a projector produces, the bigger and brighter an image it can project. All over the world, projector light output is measured in lumens. The higher the lumens output, the brighter the projector. You may also hear lumens called ANSI lumens, since the American National Standards Institute once administered the lumen standard. Now, however, the lumen is an international IEC standard. Portable projectors are small, lightweight units intended for a small audience. They typically weigh 5 to 15 pounds, that's 2 to 7 kilograms, and output 800 to 1200 lumens. The projectors used in rental and permanent applications tend to be larger and more powerful. These projectors can be propped on a table or mounted from a ceiling, as seen here. They typically range from 20 to 50 pounds, that's 9 to 23 kilograms, and put out 1500 to 3000 lumens. Large venue units can project a large image a long distance. This is the type of projector used at movie theaters. These devices can weigh over 100 pounds, that's 45 kilograms, and output up to 15,000 lumens. All projectors need a surface to project on. In some cases, any flat surface colored a shade of white will do, but the best displays are projected on screens designed for the purpose. Screens come in many shapes and sizes to accommodate a variety of viewing spaces and aspect ratios. Permanent applications frequently use rolled screens. Rolled screens are wall or ceiling mounted. Some pull down like a window shade, while others are raised and lowered with an electric motor. Some applications actually put the projector behind the screen and project through it. Rear projection screens are rigid. They don't roll up and down. Tripod screens are essentially rolled screens on tripod legs. They're portable and easy to set up, so they're used in a lot of rental applications, especially for smaller venues. Foldable screens are available in larger sizes than tripods, making them popular for large venue staging applications. They're made up of separate components. A screen kit includes an aluminum frame, two legs to support the frame, and a projection surface that snaps to the frame. These screens are commonly used with a skirt and side curtains, making them look like a portable theater environment. When projecting an image, the center of the projector's lens must be perpendicular to the center of the screen. If it's not, the image shape becomes a trapezoid. This is called keystone error. To correct this error, adjust the position of the projector or change the angle of the screen. Also, some projectors feature electronic keystone correction controls. However, electronic keystone correction does distort the image, so if possible, it's best to correct the problem by repositioning the equipment. A projection system's performance depends equally on the screen and the projector. There's a wide variety of available technologies for projectors and, yes, for screens too. The projection system's success depends on choosing the right equipment for the application. Thanks for watching Intro to Projection Equipment.